There are more than 10,000 recorded genetic diseases that are passed on through generations, affecting millions of people, often with fatal or severely debilitating illness. Scientists worldwide are working to crack the code of genetic disease to identify genes, diagnose abnormalities, and discover new treatments. The Genetic Disease Foundation, or GDF, was founded in 1997 by patients and families affected by genetic diseases, volunteers who are simply motivated by their own experiences to help others. The GDF supports genetic research, education, and counseling. The GDF is affiliated with Mount Sinai School of Medicine Department of Genetics and Genomic Sciences, which is leading the country in several research areas. We have over 50 full-time faculty and our efforts are to uh, understand genetic diseases, both rare and common, to develop therapies for genetic diseases. This is genomics, analyzing genes. This requires some very sophisticated, state-of-the-art machinery. With funds raised by the foundation, Mount Sinai was able to purchase vital equipment, including DNA sequencers and mutation detectors. This is the latest equipment. Uh, this is a genome analyzer. I guess they've been named uh, affectionately. But uh, they are able to sequence the entire genome. Mount Sinai has so far identified dozens of genes that cause disease, opening the door to new therapies, including a treatment for neiman pick b which is now in phase three clinical trials. Mount Sinai developed the first treatment for Fabre, an inherited metabolic disorder that causes serious neurologic, cardiovascular, and renal symptoms. GDF is also helping people understand genetic diseases and their risks, and recently launched Know Your Genes. It's a public information campaign addressing basic questions like, what exactly is genetic testing? Who should consider genetic testing? How is testing done? And what do the results mean? GDF supports patients by directing them to genetic counselors and disease specialists. One of the biggest things when I got sick was, how did this happen, you know, and what caused all this? So what I was trying to do was, basically, I've been researching it myself and reading different journals, trying to find out what was wrong with me and where this all started. And I found out from Dr. Diaz about three and a half, four years ago, he gave me a call and said, Dave, and I think we figured it out. He said, at first, we really didn't know, but then we did a little bit more testing and found out that I had Wim syndrome fully. I have two daughters, and one daughter is four and the other one is 12. If they could find a cure in me for Wimps syndrome, that would be you know, something I could always ask for, but uh, to have my daughters taken care of would be one of the best things in the world, you know, because if I, if I move on and life takes care of me, I hope I could take care of them, so that's the biggest thing to me. Being sick ain't easy, but being able to help my daughters get through this sickness would be the greatest thing in the world, so that's why I'm here. Now you just saw my brother Davin, and Davin actually has Wim syndrome, which is an immunodeficiency disorder that makes him very susceptible to infection. And it wasn't until recently when Dr. Diaz and his amazing team at Mount Sinai actually found the gene mutation linked to Wim syndrome. And now the team is working on treatment. Davin has been sick since we were kids, and as his sister, I definitely wanted to do something to help. So when I heard of the GDF, I thought, this is definitely a group that I want to be a part of. So if you're watching this video right now, you should feel very hopeful and you should feel very proud because it's with your support that you're not only helping yourself and you're helping your family, but you're also helping generations to come with some of the most groundbreaking medical research that there is. So dramatic improvements are possible and with your help, we'll definitely see them happen.